How's it hanging, people? It's me, V, and today I'm here to bring you guys a Victor and Valentino theory. If you're an outsider, on the surface, this may just look like another silly kid show on Cartoon Network, but if you start digging deeper, you start to find out there's lore, hidden mysteries, and a bunch of theory potential for this show, a lot of which has remained untouched by the general cartoon community. So today, I'm here to present my very own Victor and Valentino theory. Our theory begins with the Aztec gods Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl, which are both represented as Tez and Sal respectively in the show. At one point, Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl had an argument and falling out over who should be the sun. A sea monster named Zipacli rose from the waters and started destroying and eating everything the gods have created. Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl decided to put aside their differences and team up to defeat it. Tezcatlipoca lured Zipacli in with his foot, and Zipacli proceeded to bite it off. This is why Tezcatlipoca, and in the show, Tez only has one foot, the other being replaced by an obsidian mirror. So now let's focus on the main duo, Victor and Valentino themselves. As we all know, Victor and Valentino are brothers, exactly like Tezcatlipoca and Quetzalcoatl were. And no, this connection is not baseless, as Vic and Val are often linked to Tez and Sal. Victor specifically has a strong connection to Tez. The show loves to draw parallels between the two, specifically in the episode Tez Says, in which Tez says that Victor reminds him of himself as a young boy, and tells him that maybe he could be a great magician like Tez someday, while putting his head on. We also see him wear it in the episode Tez Breaks Bread, and I guess if you want to count Plandemonium, since in that episode Victor is practicing being a magician to quote unquote be a better magician than Tez, but the hat isn't Tez's. We see another parallel in the show's first episode, Folk Art Foes. Towards the beginning of that episode, Chata explains to Vic and Val the story of Wewe Coyote. In her account of it, Tezcatlipoca is the one to capture Wewe inside of the El Abrije. We see this paralleled with Victor later in the episode, when he is the one to capture Wewe once again. As another parallel, in the episode Cuddle Monster, Vic and Val are pitted against a descendant of Sipakli they called Cuddles. And much like Tez and Sal, Vic and Val had to work together to defeat it. So you might be wondering, where exactly am I going with all these parallels between the two? Well, remember how Tez and Sal's encounter with Sipakli resulted in Tez's foot being lost? Well, my theory is that Victor will end up losing a leg later in the show. It might sound outlandish, but when you think about it and all the parallels between Tez and Victor, it actually starts to make sense. There are two points of evidence that I want to point out, one of them a bit more convincing than the other. First, in Baby Pepito. When Valentino's trying to give Pepito a Mr. Stuffy Pants, aka Plush Victor, Pepito's at first happy, but once he gets his hands, or claws, on him, he tears him apart by the legs. Secondly, and more convincingly, back to the episode Tez says, when Tez informs the boys about his missing leg, Victor replies with, I want a peg leg now. Lastly, think about the recurring injuries Victor experiences in certain episodes. They gotta mean something, right? Anyway, that's all for this video. If you like this video and want to see more theories like this, definitely let me know because I loved making this and I have more under my belt that I'd love to share with you guys. Until next time, stay safe, peace out, adios.